Hello there. I hope everyone is doing well. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed to the channel. I appreciate and I am thankful for your help. To those who have not subscribed, I would like to say, welcome to the channel, and I ask you to support me by subscribing to the channel. Thank you. Do you reckon Harry's loose talking could sink his immigration status in the United States? Could his decision to dish all, including foolishly sharing about taking cocaine, psilocybin mushrooms, and weed before traveling to America, and in the U.S. as recent as 2020, come back to bite him? He also used drugs whilst living in at Tyler Perry's L.A. home during the lockdown, and while house hunting allegedly. It is unbelievable how Prince Harry has been so openly candid about his drug habit in his book, Spare, an online session. It is common knowledge that Prince Harry admits in his memoir that he has taken cocaine, cannabis, and magic mushrooms, revealing that psychedelic drugs allowed him to see the truth. In his book, Spare He, Harry, admits that he took psychedelics both for fun and therapeutically over the years, smoking cannabis in his garden at Kensington Palace and at Eton. Now you know, criminality knows no barriers, it can happen anywhere. Yes, it can happen in the dark streets and in high places. The demon is real. Under the drug's influence, he was able to see there was another world where the red mist didn't exist, he says, claiming that drugs had helped him both escape and redefine reality. He describes smoking joints on multiple occasions. Prince Harry recounts how he started hallucinating, believing a bin in a bathroom was staring at him before growing a head. The lavatory then also became a head and began talking to him. He says he left the room giggling and sent his friend in to enjoy the experience of a lifetime. However, the friend later emerged terrified, believing his puffer jacket had turned into a dragon. I started doing it recreationally and then started to realize how good it was for me. I would say it is one of the fundamental parts of my life that changed me and helped me deal with the traumas and pains of the past. With all that drug count, how did Harry manage to get residency in the United States? He would have been required to detail his drug history when he permanently relocated to California. I just wonder whether he ever thought for a moment that those revelations would potentially land him into trouble with the American immigration authorities. His revelations are covered by all the newspapers worldwide. We all know how strict the United States is on drugs. The Department of Immigration does not tolerate any kind of criminality, and that includes drugs. So, one may ask, how did Harry manage to get a visa to enter the USA? Okay, there is a possibility that he may have been given spousal visa entry. But the question remains, how about his drug-taking history? Also, can anyone confirm that he has stopped using drugs? He continued using drugs up arrival in the US allegedly. Lots of people would like to know whether Harry ever declared his drug abuse to the American Immigration Services when he applied for the visa. Did he declare the past drug abuse to the authorities? Anyone who has traveled to the USAD have had to fill a visa form knows how the American authorities are so jumpy when it comes to drugs use. They do not tolerate drug use especially from foreigners entering the USA, this is regardless of whether they were used years ago or recent. Regardless of the visa he used for getting into the United States. One question still stands out, how did he manage to sneak into the USA with a long history of drug use? Americans do ask a lot of questions on the visa application, such as Have you ever violated or engaged in a conspiracy to violate any law relating to controlled substances? Have you ever taken drugs? If so, for how long? There are questions about money laundering too. It is interesting to know how Harry answered the direct question regarding drug abuse. Did he lie to the authorities in his application form? If he lied, then he has a major problem facing him. He has confirmed drug taking in his book spare, and he reiterated the same while in conversation with Dr. Gabor Mate on the online therapy session. Yes, he has admitted he was on the joint because it made him feel better. Unless, of course, royalty is treated differently to the rest of other drug users. Harry is not a diplomat, so we would not have qualified for a waiver. I reckon, he used a spousal visa, but that does not remove or waiver his drug use. Immigration lawyers out there, please can you explain to us how Harry managed not only get a visa, but live in the USA? 
Is it possible that the USA immigration has overlooked Harry's drug use because he is a member of the British royal family? Or have they put him on the same rank as diplomats and celebrities? If he is in the rank of celebrities, then it is possible that he is on O visa. If Harry comes to the UK for King Charles's coronation, do you reckon he will have a problem returning to the USA? Is he going to be interviewed again by the American immigration authorities regarding his drug use? Can that visa be revoked? If Harry lied, then we are talking lying under oath. Anyone who declares use of drugs on their application form is denied entry. According to the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, applicants who are found to be drug abusers or addicts are inadmissible the USA. The rules state that an individual's current or past actions which involve drug use or criminal activities may make the applicant ineligible. Lots of people have been denied entry to the USA on the grounds of drug use and other criminalities even if the applicant has never been charged. Is Harry legitimate? I find it astonishing that Harry was never charged with drug use in England. This was not a one-off occurrence. Can you imagine if that any Joe Block on the street? That person would have been picked up so fast, prosecuted, and jailed. One rule for the royals and another for the commoners. What do you think? Should his visa be revoked after admitting to using drugs in a televised therapy session? Do you think his stay in the USA is in jeopardy after admitting drug use? That could be the end of his world tour trashing his family. I reckon Harry may skip his father's coronation because of this revelation. He may be barred from returning to the USA because of this admission. As they say, loose lips sink ships unfortunately. If you would like to do a bit of research regarding US and immigration. If you would like to know more about waivers of ineligibility, please check out this website. https colon slash slash travel dot state dot gov slash content. Section 212 H of the Immigration and Nationality. This is all folks. Thank you for your time. Wishing you a very peaceful week. Remember, you are loved. Peace.